all right guys welcome back to the channel so in today's question we have the boom oa that carries a load p and is supported by uh two cables uh, ac and ab and we know that the, that the tension in the cable ab is uh, 183 pounds and we need to find the tension in cable ac but there is a condition and the condition is that the resultant of the force uh, p and the uh, other two forces that are exerted at A uh, must be directed along OA or x-axis. Uh, so as I was, we're going to start with the free body diagram at point O. So we have the tension uh, in cable AC. So in point A, we have the tension in cable AC. As always, tension can only be in uh, cable can only be in tension so that's why uh, we do the direction for each cable uh, in this way and we have TAB the other force that we have is the P and we have to find the resultant of these three forces along the uh, x-axis which means uh, resultant R wouldn't have any uh, Y component and K component and simply uh, since all our forces are in the negative direction of X so we'll have a minus amount for so that's what we're expecting uh, in this question, that's what the question is asking to have the result in, uh, being along the OA or X axis. So the first step is we have to find each of these forces uh, in a vector form. So simply we have the tension in the cable equals the unit vector. And AC, we can show it with lambda too times the magnitude so uh, that's what we need and we want to start with this we need to find the AC for the unit vector and uh, we have no information about the the tension in the cable AC and this is the what the question is asking from us so let's go with the uh, AC. So for AC, we'll find the coordinates of uh, C and A, and we're going to subtract each component of X, Y, Z together. So let's start with the X. Let's see what's the uh, X component of C. If we look at here, we'll see that C is uh, on YZ plane, so there is no uh, X component. So we have 0 minus uh, the X component of A which as we can see is 48. So this will be our I component. Let's move on to Y. So if we look at Z, we'll see that the Y component is here, 25. And for A, since it's on X axis, there is no Y. So we have zero for Y. And if we uh, look at the last component, which is Z. So for C, we'll see that we are on the negative uh, side of the L will be minus 36 and if we look at A we'll see again we are on the x-axis which means there is no Z component and for finding the magnitude we'll simply have 48 squared plus 25 squared plus 36 squared and that way we can find TAC in uh, XYZ component, so we'll have minus 48 over. Um, so the bottom of this ratio, if we calculate this, uh, that would give us 65. And we'll have 25 over 65 for J. 
account will have minus 63 over 65 for k all of these are multiplied by tac so we found the first uh the tangent inverse cable in vector form we have to do the same thing for tab as well so but for tab we have the uh, tension in the cable so we'll have an ab unit vector times the magnitude which we know is uh, 183 so all we need to do is to do the same thing for <coughs> um, the vector ab so let's start with the x component of uh, point b as we can see uh b is on y z plane so the x would be zero and a will be uh 48 same as ac for j we'll see that the again we are in the 29 uh on the positive side for b for y component and there wouldn't be any uh, x component for uh, point A and the last component of Z is Z for so for C we have 24 inch toward the positive direction of Z so we have uh, sorry 24 uh, minus and A doesn't have any zero component as well so we'll end up with and for the bottom of the ratio, again, we have 48 squared plus 29 squared plus 24 uh, squared. If we uh, calculate this one, we'll get 61 inch. Uh, so we'll, we'll get 61 uh, inches. And since we already have the TAB magnitude, uh, we can uh write it down in a vector form so if you uh multiply these uh here we'll get for a b minus 144 pound uh for i plus um 87 for j and 72 for k component and everything will be in inches so we found the second force and the last force, as we can see in the free body diagram, is the the P force, which we see that uh, P is on the negative uh, direction of uh, J. So if we look at P, we'll get simply minus P, J component, that's all three uh, forces that we have in a vector form. So we started with cable AC, cable AB, and at the end we we'll, uh, found the tension in. Uh, we found the load P in a vector form. <coughs> so let's get back to the beginning of the question that uh, our resultant must be in the. Uh, uh, OA or X axis. So if we look at the components that we have, uh, so if we go with uh, J component, so we have like two unknowns in here and that would be T, A, C, and P. But the P only has J component. So if we go straight to the Z component of R, which is zero, we'll end up having the Z component for uh, let's show it with RZ equals zero. What we have, we have the Z component of TAC, which is uh, what we have in here. So we have minus 36 over 65 TAC. Uh, we have uh, this Z component for TAB plus 72 and there is no z component for p equals zero and we have 
from this equation only one unknown and that's what the question is asking so we can find TAC 130 pounds uh, as the final answer for this question and if you plug this into the y-axis we can uh, also uh, find the load P uh, since we found one of the unknowns now uh, but the question is not asking for uh, P so this is the final answer for this question see you guys